All right, so what do you do when, well, when what, right? So when you get discombobulated and you get overwhelmed, because I think that's the biggest thing we're gonna say, when you get overwhelmed. And this happens if you are a coach and you're like, hey, I got a lot to get done. So let's be real. There's a lot of things in your head. I know, I'm a coach. Now this is directly for the people who are coaches or want to, you want to coach in some space. I don't care if it's fitness, personal development, online, it doesn't matter. You want to guide people through a process or do something which could be you on a stage, you behind a computer screen coaching people for whatever long, length and process you want. But the reality is there's a lot to get done. You're buying a lot of programs and products and you can write a book and you can do all this stuff. But then you start thinking like, oh, I got all these things I gotta get done, what do I do? And all of a sudden you find yourself one morning waking up and you get to the point where you feel overwhelmed, you feel discombobulated. This is the exact word when I was in college uh, at the University of Oregon. <laughs> one of my teammates, Dave Martin, solid dude, they used to call him discombobulated. He was always discombobulated. He wasn't, but he like, was just always kind of loopy. Um, and the thing was, we had to figure out how you get moving when you get to that point because when you get there, you get overwhelmed, you do nothing. You just sit, you get stuck and like you're trying to figure out how exactly do I get out of this place and get back to traction, get back to action. Because once you get there, the train keeps on chugging along. If you don't do that, then the train will it pretty much just dies down. I'm gonna make sure my phone is on uh, silent mode and airplane mode so I don't get anybody um, messaging me. Don't call me there right now because I'm busy. Seriously, so how we do it. We're gonna break down the four specific steps to get you from a place of overwhelm and discombobulation to action, to rolling, to moving. So first one you gotta do when you get to this point is simple, you need to sit down. Now, what ends up happening is we get to the point of thinking if I go ahead and just keep on moving, all of a sudden it'll just, the, the, the seas will part. I'll have some progress, it'll start moving. But what ends up happening is you keep on rolling and think about it, you and that path, that pace, that motion, what it actually did is it started putting more stuff onto the train to where now you're overwhelmed. What you have to do is stop what you're doing. Stop, like sit down, give yourself some peace, because here's the truth, you think you can't waste an hour. It's the whole sharpening an ax thing. Like if you start cutting with a dull ax, you don't cut anything, you waste all the time. Spend the hour sitting down, sharpening the sword, so stop what you're doing. Don't keep the ball rolling. Give yourself peace for a day. Like give yourself an actual singular day and say, you know what, <sighs> Wusa, rub your earlobes, sit down. I'm gonna actually give myself a break and sit down, not to do nothing, but to organize, right? To get myself to the next tier, which is what we're leading into. Now that I've sat myself down, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna sit down. Now I need you to organize. And this is really the key one everybody's gotta get. Organization is the, the one reason why you're where you're at right now. You are not organized. You have no process, you have a lot of stuff you want to get done, you don't know when it's going to get done. So what you start doing is thinking about the 17 things that have got to get done. You try to work on one, but while you're working on one, all 16 of the other ones are still in your head. So you can't focus on this because everything else is muddying the waters up. You haven't organized anything, which means you don't know when the other ones are going to get done, so they keep weight. Like they keep this space in your head. Think about it, if you were to say, hey, of the 16, five are gonna get done this month. Take the other, you know, 14 or what is that, 10, five, 11, get the other 11, move them out to like, I don't know, next week, next month, like two months, three months from now. Move them away from this time frame. What it does is gives you a breath, a break to say, okay, now I can execute a different level. Because the thing you wanna get back to doing is execution. You can't go down, uh, you can't take a, a car and say I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna go from my house to grandma's house and uh, I'm just gonna, I have no idea where grandma lives, I'm just gonna start driving and hope all of a sudden I pull in her driveway. It doesn't work that way. You've gotta have a path, a plan. When you organize, that is your path, that is your plan. You've gotta spend time pulling yourself back and like seriously, frustratingly simple, Organize what happens on Monday, what happens on Tuesday, what happens on Wednesday, and roll yourself through the week. And if you can, block out like four to six weeks, give yourself a space. Because what happens is when you're in this area, now you're just like, man, I'm frustrated. But when you start putting things into place, you get that same inspiration and hope and like clarity back. Because clarity creates a lot of a lot of joy. To be honest, like when I can see things clearly, I'm like, oh yes, I feel good. Think about snorkeling. If you go snorkeling in muddy water, not very fun. When you go when it's beautiful, crystal clear, and you can see everything, oh, 
Look at the pretty fish, right? That's what we're trying to get for you in the aspect of this. So once you sat down and paused life, not try to go do everything while moving, and you sat down and you've organized everything, and this does take some time. Like I've got clients I work with, because I coach coaches, I've got clients I work with and I'm like, hey, we're gonna spend today and you spend the next couple days I want you to organize your schedule and share it with me. I don't need you to, to get up and start executing and building things and doing. None of that's gonna help you. You're gonna start building things at the wrong time, missing something, because you can't operate off of feeling. You gotta operate off a of structure and a process so that you can do it whether or not you feel like it, right? Now that I've organized, here's the next thing. This is the problem most people have, is they don't do this. They don't execute. And the execution is the key. When you've got a bunch of things on your head and your heart and your plate, the, the problem is you always have a bunch of things on your head and your heart and your plate. And if you don't execute, the pile never gets any smaller. It just gets bigger because you're not gonna stop consuming information. You're not gonna stop reading books like this. You're gonna get more and more ideas. And what happens is if I have a great plan, think about how many times you've made a plan and then in that plan, it never got done. Like I know a lot of people are like, I'm gonna start eating healthy, and then they never eat healthy. Or I'm gonna start working out, and they never work out, because they had a plan for it, and then, then life happened, and they didn't execute. The, the action taking, to be honest, like that's a hard part of it. And then being consistent over time, that's what moves the needle for people. But they don't execute on stuff. And so what I'm gonna tell you is you need to start getting to the point where now that you have this organized, and you execute, realize one, it's gonna be for pride and for passion, you're gonna feel good about doing it, but two, a really important one, is you're gonna get things off your plate. You're gonna get the dishes washed. Now, what I mean by dishes washed, well, think about it this way. If I have a, a sink full of dishes, if I take a dish out and I wipe it down, and then I complete it and I put it to the side, good, that dish is done. But what if you half wash the dish and then you put it back in the water? And then you go to the next dish, and you half wash that dish and you put it back in the water. You never get past that area. You never have less dishes. You, this is the same thing, I kind of, maybe I start it, maybe I work on it and I don't get it done and I put it back in and I'm, that's the process. So nothing ever comes off of your plate. So what you have is the overwhelm is still here. In fact, you've spent more time doing this and because you didn't execute, you never got past the overwhelm. You get stuck in it. It still is part of your life and it never gets any easier. And if you're being honest with yourself, if I'm being honest with you, the reason you don't have success, you don't have the income you want, you haven't made the impact, you're not having the clients you want, maybe you're spending more time trying to get clients than actually coaching clients, it's because you haven't done this or haven't done it consistently. Maybe you could say, oh no, I, I did get that thing done or I posted once or twice. Did you post twice a day for the last two months? Did you write every single day for 30 minutes like you planned? Did you get up every day and execute perfectly on your morning routine? Did you? Because if you didn't do it, those little things, they matter. And here's the next thing. Once, let's say, we get to the point of, all right, I sat down, I got clear and organized, took the time to do that, and they, now I'm, I'm pumping along. Well, here's what takes place. As you execute, what I found is I start being exposed to more opportunity and more success. So guess what happens? We go right back here. I get to more overwhelmed because there's more on my plate, more going on. And I get to that place of, oh, and then I gotta sit down again and organize and execute and overwhelm and organize. So what should you do in this situation? Easy, you're going to plan on repeat. So what I'm gonna do is this is the plan, right? This is the whole planning thing we talked about. You need to set within this execution process a specific day in the week where you go and plan without having the overwhelm. It minimizes overwhelm. It's like always having like the, the little, the release valve, right? If you have a sink, like if I have my sink, I turn the water on, there's that little hole in the front of the sink where if it overflows and gets too high, it goes in and goes down the drain. So it never overflows, overflows. This right here is that hole in your sink. I just thought that, I just thought that was a good one. I feel special that I added that one in. I just made it up in the middle of having this conversation. But that's what you gotta do. You literally have to get to the point of planning on repeat. So now what happens is, on every Sunday or every Monday, I go back to here and I sit down and I say, all right, how am I looking? Like, am I good? Am I, am I still organized? Did I get everything done and clear? Okay, great. Am I gonna execute? Am I still executing? Yeah, great, I'm executing. Now I'm gonna get back to here. Let me keep the repeat process going. Like, this is how I live my life. I'm, I'm gonna show you real time. Can't get close to the camera. 
This is how I live my life. Every single week, it's all dialed in, it's written. I move post-its from side to side. I plan up to four weeks out. Like this is how I work. If you see right here what you can't, it says add a week. So for me, every single week, when I eat a week, I lead a week. So I eat it and I lead it. So which means I get done with that week every Saturday, I add on so I'm always four weeks out from my life. So I never get to overwhelm. Like I can operate, I tick, I roll, I'm always keeping a perspective on what's going on and when you do that, you change the game. So for you, if you're in this place of saying, man, what do I do when I get overwhelmed? This, sit down, organize, execute, plan and repeat. Go to work, get it done, you're welcome.